So a few weeks ago, I was watching a Met game at City Field, and I was sitting in this seat, and I saw this woman, a couple rows in front of me, who was the most popular person at the stadium. Everybody was coming up to her. So I had to find out who she was. So today, you and I are gonna learn who is Gloria? The way you wear your hat. Gloria, who exactly are you? I am a Met fan from Long Island. I'm here at almost every game every year for the last 30 years. This is the 30th year. What was the moment that you're like, you know what, I'm going to get into baseball? A bunch of the attorneys from my office during the 1986 season said, we're going to the ball game tomorrow night. Why don't you come with us? And I said, OK, I'll go. That was it. The right. spark was reignited. So this is not the first time you've been in the dugout, though? The second. And the first time I didn't get to sit like this and hang oh, out so with anybody. Oh, so this is special. Yes, okay, absolutely. Good, good. How do you feel that you're in the dugout? Do you feel like one of the players? Oh, I love it. No, I love it. <laughs> you look like one of the players. There's no mistaking which team Gloria roots for, judging by the 26 I things would, she's yes, wearing that say Mets on them. I would hope not. You've been in the locker room before. Yeah. Were they out of clothes or in clothes? There, were no, there was nobody in oh, there. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Honey, I had the most wonderful I, day. I was going to say <laughs> I'd have to leave that part out when I was telling my husband. You remember um, Tim Tuffle? Oh, sure. He used to do something called the Tuffle Shuffle when he yeah. went that oh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see it right now, Gloria. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. See, you've been on the field oh, before, well, right? I was on the field, I think, three times. This is not a big deal. If you play baseball, I would be the guy watering the field. As far as crushes are concerned, who's your crush on this year's Mets, you would say? Not a crush per se. They call him the Big Sexy. That's Bartolo Colon, who's 43 years old. They it, call him the Big Sexy? Yes, trust me. What would your nickname be if you were on the Mets? Oh, God, I have no idea. Little Sexy. Even... You're a huge Mets fan. Yes. But I want to test your ability as an athlete, OK? Because this is the indoor batting cage. And if I fail? You won't. These are the actual bats here. We're going to bat with something a little more simple. OK. Yes. Is this your stance? Tom, um, how does my stance look? Horrible? Horrible? Get some help because Gloria needs help with her stance. I have a very specific way of pitching, by the way. There it is! Good. Thank you. you Solid. You brought a bunch of stuff. I kind of want to go through your stuff. NLDS tickets. What is NLDS? National League Division Series. This is a flag? It's or a poncho. A, I think it's a scarf. Let's make it a scarf. How many autographs do you think you have from the Mets, you would say? No, no more than 100. Oh. Please, Glory, I have a hard time believing that you go to all these Mets games and you're not a good athlete. This is how I, I do it. I have no idea what to do. This is the Aaron <laughs> shuffle. Oh! <laughs> Johan Santana, the only Met to have ever thrown a no-hitter. The only Met to be called Johan as well, apparently. <laughs> but your husband's a Yankee fan, you're a Mets fan. Like, during the Subway series, do you guys just don't talk? No, the, well, the less we talk, the better, because uh, he could get very sarcastic. So you were a yeah. season ticket holder of the game? Yes. What do you get for that? You get your face up on the screen. That's incentive enough. <laughs> do you think you'll be a Mets fan for the rest of your life? Yes, as long as I'm able to be here, get here, and enjoy my team. It's like a second family. It is. It's my home away from home. The way you wear your hat. The way you sip your tea